We face our first enemy, Jerbeel. I'm going for the 360 no scope click. The around the world extravaganza. Ooh, critical hit. Second enemy, Jerbeel facing the other way. I'm gonna have to use painkillers for my carpal tunnel for this one. Third enemy, uh. Am I allowed to show that? I mean, goddamn, this is supposed to be a kid's game. Better get her off screen quickly. Now I have enough money to buy Sid, the helpful adventurer. And this is where the meaning of life begins to reveal itself. In life, you need a network of people close to you. Sid is that best friend that you can always rely on. And with her, I can now deal two damage per click. Angry Potato? More like discover the meaning of life by listening to the ancient Athenian philosopher Plato. Got him, cause Potato rhymes with play. After you start earning money in life, you can save up some of it and buy something you really want. In this case, I'm I'm gonna buy Sid some new hair dye. She's one of those people that change their hair color three times a month. And with those level ups, I have even more damage, but I'm about to face the impossible. I guess I don't need to make jokes, the game does it for me. Then I started clicking faster than Eminem on methamphetamine until I had enough money to buy another friend. Well, the analogy isn't that you buy people in real life, you have to meet them and befriend them. Think of coins as in-game personality points. If you improve your personality, more people will be closer to you. And the next person is the tree beast. Half tree, half beast. A problem. With this new power, I do damage to the enemies without me even doing anything. This is what you're aiming for in life. Think of the enemies as obstacles in your life, or bills that you have to pay, and the tree beast is passive income. You might think that passive income is just a word people use on TikTok to scam children, but once upon a time, it was actually a real thing. If you can get other things to work for you, you won't have to, but we are only getting started. Time for the first boss fight. This is a representation of when you fight your boss at work. Give me a raise or a roundhouse kick your face. Oh geez, his face looks like he's just made a grand revelation. His eyes, he's being told terrible truths about the universe. There are more nipples than there are people in the world. The moon landing was an accident. They actually landed on Dwayne The Rock Johnson and he was so big that they got confused. Okay, that's all. All water has been peed out by at least one animal. After traumatizing your boss, you move on to level 6, and now I want to simulate a specific situation in life. I'll show you what it's like to be born with privilege, to have rich parents. Here is clicking in a normal life. Not too bad, you can make progress, and here is clicking with rich parents. And hypothetically, if your parents were Bill Gates and the Queen, and Jesus Christ. I know we're in the desert, but don't get thirsty. Why is that in the game? Even if you weren't born with rich parents and opportunities, you can still make friends with connections. The next person we unlock is Ivan, the drunken brawler. Why do all the characters have eyes that have seen unimaginable horrors? You always need one drunken loser friend to make yourself feel better about your own situation. And now you have a full network of friends. The enemies are getting stronger as you grow older, but now they have to face an astrology girl, a tree screaming at them, and a drunken boxer. Do you feel confident in your life yet? Good, because boss 2 is here to fight you. This is when you have to face your parents. Mom, Dad, I'm an anime watcher. You'll definitely get disowned, but you have Ivan to console you with vodka. This boss just has one unblinking eye, all knowing. It cannot hide from the truths. To crabs, fish are birds. Oh, I've unlocked the shop. I can buy upgrades using real money and get gems. And to promote buying the gems, they've got a random woman here holding gems right next to her red hair, same color as the gems. The next person we can add to our group is Brittany, named after Britain, but somehow even more posh. Are we going on an adventure? Like, you know, oh my God. Now, why would you need someone like this in your life? Well... Oh look, I've unlocked the first power upgrade, the auto clicker. Once every 10 minutes, I can summon a godly glove to click for me. Having another person take care of all your problems and bills for a short time. That's right, this auto clicker represents your grandparents dying and leaving you $10,000 in their will. And instead of investing it, you can buy a second-hand Toyota Yaris. And it ran out just before the boss, who has an eye situation that's on a whole different level. But I can't beat him, I don't have enough damage. This is the first obstacle that's really actually stopped me. It's starting to get difficult. This is when you go from being a child to an adult. The third boss is your 18th birthday. Your parents ask why you don't have a job as a nuclear physicist yet, and you wonder maybe if you ate more broccoli you'd be six foot five now. So what's the solution? You need a guide. You can't do everything yourself. Luke had Obi-Wan. The Rock had The Rock. Gordon Ramsay had the physical embodiment of rage. And my guide will be the wandering fisherman. He knows deep, dark truths about the ocean. Yeah, those eyes ain't never seen something like this. Come on, die. It's not a phase. I really do want 15 face tattoos. I'm an adult. And I win with one second left. At this point, life seems to go a lot faster. Years don't feel as long. Days can go by without anything significant happening, 
You just keep doing the same thing over and over, but every so often something interesting happens. And you will still meet new people, like Gordon Ramsay's mother, Betty Clicker. She will get everyone else in your life on track. Make sure they're being productive and punish any mistakes. Let's see if she can help with the fourth boss, the Trollger. Representing what you look like when you turn 25, terrible skin, no hair and hoop earrings. Just kidding, you look fine, but there's a huge chance you'll have a mental illness and you'll think you'll look like this. I used my auto clicker bonus and still lost. I can't win. Some people would say that I have to be patient and wait until I'm strong enough. Give it time and improve yourself. But me, I say this is what the drunk is for. Buy him some new fancy beer and forget all about this obstacle. Hang out with him for a year and all your problems go away. And now life really starts speeding up. Technology has advanced and you meet all kinds of new people. The Masked Samurai. He was once a contestant on a game show. Some guys are so lonely they'll go out on a date with their who? Joe. Their who? Joe Mama. But most importantly, he has a big sword, so you trust him with your life. Kinda like that friend who likes hiking too much, but could come in useful. The good thing about having a baker in your group of friends is that they can make everyone else feel good. These dumplings will give every hero 20% more damage. I mean, she might have laced it with something to get that result, but I'm not complaining. The next hero is Leon the Lion, so an astrologist and a furry. I know someone you might get along with, but part of life is learning to be accepting, so let him join your friends too. If you ever get hunted by wolves, I'm sure he can distract them somehow. And now I finally have 100,000 damage per second. It is time to fight the star signs themselves. This is the giant cancer crab in the sky. Damn it, I lost. I never did check my rating for today. You will make a mediocre YouTube video. So to fix that problem, I bought the drunk even more alcohol. After your drunk phase and astrology phase, a lot of people go through a small hippie phase where they go on protests for the environment. Then they get scared of a spider and decide all nature needs to die. And so you buy the forest seer to become one with the forest. But he has large unblinking eyes, making him seem very much like the enemies. But as Spider-Man says, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Now, I don't want you to think that I got all my life advice from cartoons, but that was was a solid 70%. I have unlocked the second powerful active upgrade, Power Surge. It increases all damage by 100% for 30 seconds. And I'm using it to fight the Octo Tentacle, which is a strange name because normally tentacles come in eights, but this is just one, more like an Oct Tentacle. The next hero is Alexa, Assassin. I warned you. I said she couldn't be trusted. I told you she was dangerous. She is an assassin. I now deal 1,000 thousand damage, or 1 million damage, but I guess the game doesn't want me to feel special, alright? The only reason people want to become millionaires is because of how cool the word millionaire is. It rhymes with reptilian lair, which means Zuckerberg has both. But this increase in damage does let me teach one more life lesson before we enter our midlife crisis. I've been playing this game for 50 minutes so far. I've gone from 1 damage per second to a million. And that's what's called hyperinflation. It's a real problem affecting our society. People might not be able to afford homes in their entire lives, and the only solution is to print money, consume more vape juice, flavors, more, more, more. And then I bought an ice wizard, I guess, who cares? At this point in life, people just kind of blur past. You've lived your young years, so what's the point of trying anymore? Yep, ice wizard may as well exist, don't need to know them too well, they can't be that interesting, surely. And then we face the boss of middle agehood, King Loganaut. Like Juggernaut, but he's a log. See, at 50, you'll actually find that funny. And now we are about halfway through life. We still have so many things to discover. Children, grief, travel into other cultures, going through your late years happily, without regrets. And you expect that I'll get to level 100 to show you all of that, but maybe like life, it will just end unexpectedly, without you even realizing. And hopefully, the life you've lived up until that point was good. But I will show you the rest of the game for the example of a full length life. The next person I can add to our group is, oh my god, the Mandalorian? Can I get your autograph? And we are up to the next boss fight, representing the great challenge of imparting your life knowledge onto someone else. Giving advice to someone to help them. The first step